Hello, in this video we're gonna check all available gestures and motions on Motorola Moto G85. To do this, first one we need to open our settings, inside navigate to the gestures. Right here we can find all of the options. First one is navigation mode, here you can choose how to navigate your device, either by gestures or three buttons. In this case I have three buttons. Now we can go back, move to the sidebar, when activated, you'll be able to call out the sidebar. From the right side of your screen, you can also see the line right here. So just drag on it, which at some point should call it out. Or not. Let's just click on the settings right here. Maybe that way we'll be able to adjust the apps. So if you click on that gear icon, you can add or remove the bars or app, uh, sorry, apps from the bar. And let's go back and try again. Maybe if I grab the phone, it will work. A great features Motorola. Okay, so for me, it doesn't work. You can try it if you like. In this case, I'm just gonna go back. Uh, then we have one-handed mode. And if you scroll down, you can enable one-handed mode uh, shortcut. If you click on it, your notification uh, bar should drop down so you can reach it with one hand. Like this. You can also pull the screen into the reach like that, so it's in the half right here. That means if we're using one hand, we can just scroll it with our, with our thumb. And then we can go back and navigate to swipe to split. When enabled, you'll be able to swipe uh, your finger on the screen like that, which should split the screen in half. But that also works great, as you can see. Okay, at some point it actually works. And then you can have, for example, maps on the bottom and YouTube on the top, depending on which apps you had already opened. Then we can navigate to three finger screenshot. When enabled, you can hold your three fingers onto the screen to capture a screenshot. Next is double press power button to launch a camera or none. So let's try it out. It works fine. Then we have a press and hold power button to access your digital assistant or power menu. So let's go with digital assistant, then we can adjust the press and hold duration. Hold it for a few seconds and it should call out your, in this case, Google Assistant. If you want to access Power Mini uh, with digital assistant enabled, then click on the volume up and the power button at the same time, which should open the Power Mini like this. Now we can go back and then navigate to press and hold uh, to media controls, sorry. When enabled, you'll be able to control multimedia playback using the different gestures. Let's learn more. So if you want to play the next track, then hold the volume up when your phone is locked. If you want to play previous track, then hold a volume down button when your phone is locked. If you want to adjust the volume buttons, you will need to tap and release the keys, so don't hold them. Then we have a quick launch. When enabled, you'll be able to double tap back of your phone, let's say right here, which should perform one of the actions that we can assign by clicking on the gear icon right here in the app, in the settings, sorry. We can adjust the tap strength as well. And in this case, let's go with, uh, take a screenshot. So let's go back again. And it works fine. Then we have quick capture. When enabled, you can twist your wrist like this to quickly open camera. Then there's a fast flashlight. It, when enabled, you can perform something like a handshake with your phone to enable a flashlight. And uh, let's try it without locking our screen. Yep, it works fine. And you can turn it off, uh, turn it off uh, the same way. Let's go back 
left to unlock. When enabled, you can lock your uh, device. Then when you pick it up, it should wake up without touching any buttons. But for that, you will need to enable the face unlock. In this case, I don't want to, but uh, you can surely go for enable and then follow the instructions to set up the face unlock. And if you're not sure how to do that, we've made a video on how to set up fi face unlock on this device as well. So you can check it out in a playlist. Uh, then there's uh, the pickup to silence when enabled uh, and you receive a phone call. You can pick up your phone uh, which should mute that phone call. Then there's flip to DND. When enabled you can uh, lock your device and flip your phone upside down. That means screen to the table and it should prevent any uh, ringtones or basically any sounds your phone will enter do not disturb mode and that's it for this video hope you like it please consider subscribing to our channel leave a like and a comment below